Hi, I'm Matthew Coast, head dating coach and founder at CommitmentConnection.com. And in today's video, we're going to do a quiz. And it's the Does He Like Me quiz. And if this is your first time to this channel, make sure that you hit the subscribe button to get more videos on how to have the relationship that you've always wanted. Um, so the first question, so, so the question is, does your crush like you more than just a friend? And so maybe he does, maybe he doesn't. I don't know. We're going to ask some questions to kind of figure this out. So the first question is, how often does he call you or text you? And the answers are either A, several times a day, B, once a day, C, a few times a week, D, once a week, E, maybe once a month, and F, he still hasn't ever contacted me. <laughs> so um, the answer that you're looking for is either A or B. Um, you know, a few times a week, maybe if he's like really, really busy, but he still likes you, but maybe not that much. Or I mean, I guess if you're already in a relationship, but that's not what we're talking about here. So you want either once a day or several times a day. And so... Um, you know, the more he's contacting you, obviously, the more he likes you. Maybe you didn't know that. I don't know. So question number two is, does he start the conversation or does he mostly just respond to you? So the answers are, A, he always starts the conversation and makes me think or laugh. B, he is always sending me texts and it gets annoying after a while. C, I mostly ask him questions and then he responds. D, we usually just text or call to make plans. E, we take turns responding. Or F, he doesn't really like texting or phoning. <laughs> the, the best choices here are either A or E. So the more you respond, text him, or try to force a reaction out of him, um, the more resentful he'll become over time, especially if he's not that into you. So the more he's texting you, kind of like what we talked about before, the better. Um, if he's starting the conversations, that's always that's always a good one. Um, it means he's thinking about you, which is a really good sign. So question number three, has he ever physically complimented you, calling you beautiful, sexy, hot, etc.? A, uh, no, but he's always says nice things to me. <laughs> B, of course, he always does can't stop talking about how hot I am. C, he says strange things like talking about my dress or something. He never actually says he's attracted to me though. D, yes, and sometimes he compliments my eyes, my sense of humor, and my artistic talents too. <laughs> or three, no, he just insults me. So D is the best option, though uh, sometimes shy guys might fall into C. Uh, some guys can't work up the courage to be direct and compliment a woman on her looks. Um, but if he's, if he's always talking about how hot you are and never really compliments other qualities, um, it might just be a superficial relationship that he's kind of connected to or superficial attraction that he has for you. So question number four, is he in a relationship with someone else? This is an important question. A, no. B, I don't know. C, yes, although he seems to like talking to me better than her. D, he just broke up with someone. E, yes, and he seems very attracted to her. Do I have a chance at all? And F, he's always arm in arm with some girl. So the best option here is A, but sometimes men in the F category are really looking for love. Um, beware of men who just got out of relationships. There's sometimes a rebound there, which almost never works out. Um, and, and it's more just like, hey, I'm missing this connection that I had for so long and I want to still feel it, so I'm jumping in this thing without thinking about it, which a lot of times can end up uh, falling apart pretty quickly. So number five, question number five is, how often does he joke around and tease you? A is all the time. Even if I'm upset about something, he just keeps clowning around. B is he is polite and mature and he doesn't joke at all. Uh, C, yes, and I tease him right back. D is yes, and we both 
like to make fun of each other and it's lots of fun and we laugh about it. E, I haven't really noticed. F, he always makes me laugh, but I can't seem to make him laugh. <laughs> uh, so the best options here are C and D. Um, it's really good when a couple learns to be able to laugh and poke fun of, at each other and just have fun with each other, um, you know, in, in the appropriate settings. Um, if it's uh, not funny, uh, it's cruel, or it's like overly funny all the time, um, it might just be him being a clown instead of uh, actually having some real kind of connection with you or trying to create some kind of real connection with you. So question number six, what kind of man would you describe your crush as? A, complicated, hard to read, and mysterious. B, always so funny and charming. C, he's a jock and he's very into sex and sports. D, he's quiet and smart. E, he's happy and positive. And F, brutally honest, domineering, and emotionally intense. The most available men are men that are D and E. So this is really about what kind of a guy you're getting with here. Um, the A's and B's are very fun to be around, but you really have to invest some time in them. And sometimes uh, there might be some emotional pain going on there. Men who are damaged might be commitment phobic. That happens a lot. I get a lot of uh, questions about that. Players may be addicted to having shallow conversations and one-night stands. Um, they're not impossible to win over, but uh, it does take some patience, a lot of patience, and uh, doing the right things and maybe figuring out how to do the right things. Uh, but beware of Fs, as uh, a lot of Fs could end up being abusive. So question number seven, what is your sex slash romance life like? Answers are A, we haven't gotten there yet. <laughs> B, I think he's attracted to me, but I can't tell for sure. C, we already had sex. Ever since then, he's, he's changed so much. D, we, are, we still have sex, but there's no commitment. E, he spends a lot of time with me, but he keeps saying that he wants to take it slow. Or F, he's very romantic and passionate but we both seem too afraid to make it official. So E and F are the best bets here. If you haven't progressed to the point of intimacy, you know, maybe this is kind of too new or uh, maybe he's not even that interested or uh, maybe he's kind of cautious about moving those steps forward as to he doesn't want to screw things up. I mean, there, there could be a lot of different things there. Um, if you notice him distancing himself after sex, it's very likely that um, he either was only looking for a one-night stand or maybe there was something about the sexual experience that you had together that really turned him off that made him want to kind of not see you anymore. Um, a lot of men will want to take it slow uh, because they want to make sure that they're getting into the right relationship. If you get the sense that uh, he feels something, but he's kind of afraid of telling you that he feels something, it may be that you're too distant after sex. Um, and may, maybe you want to let him uh, feel more vulnerable and intimate and open with you. Um, or, or maybe create a safer uh, environment for him to feel those ways around you. Um, and you know you can guide him to a peaceful place emotionally so that he can share his true feelings. Thanks for watching this video. If you're ready to know exactly what to say and do to attract the man and the relationship you've always wanted, click on the button on the right hand side of this video and go to our website.